First of all, yes, you do hear Gilligan's Island in the background. Oh, there's nothing on at the moment I want to watch. So just ignore Mr. Gilligan long enough to do this. I have the cinnamon roll. This is the last of the maple chicken breakfast sausage from Trader Joe's. And one fried egg, kind of over medium, I guess. It'll still be runny in the middle. It'll get on my cinnamon roll, but that's okay. <laughs> And these are the grits I made yesterday. It's stone ground grits that I got in the mountains. You can see they're um, still kind of loose. I kept them loose yesterday because the grits set up. Y'all know that. They set up to where you can slice them and fry them. But I left them loose to keep them from setting up so hard in the fridge. And I would have a hard time reheating them. And this is straight out of the fridge. Just run through the microwave. Isn't that nice? I'll be doing that from now on. I just I don't know why in all these years of my life I never thought about just leaving them loose to to keep them from setting up in the fridge anyway. That's that. And I'm just working on my first water. For lunch today, I thought I was having the barbecue seasoned chicken melt, but when I got it out, it said burrito. And I don't recall seeing anything like that. So I don't know. I don't know. It, well, I'm going to eat it anyway. And leftover squash. And this is the asparagus and mushroom mixture that we got at Trader Joe's. I haven't been having eggs to put it on. Well, I did this morning, but I didn't think about it. I should have had it this morning. Anyway, I'm having it now. And I put some Molly McButter on it. And I'm on my third water. Hey, so I'm breaking in here to show you what I got in the mail today. Happy mail from Joan over at Joan's Point of Lake. She sent me a box a couple weeks ago, and when I got the box, it was destroyed, crushed, and the books were missing. And it said, received like this. The post office got it like that. So somewhere from her post office to my post office, it was crushed or they were stolen because it was funny how the box was open on both ends perfectly. So... Don't know what happened to those books, but this is what she does. There's this very cool Goodwill when she goes to see her boys in Maryland, and she stops, and they have a great book section. So what she does is we FaceTime. She turns the phone around, and then she just goes down the rows of book, and I see one. I'm like, oh, stop, stop. <laughs> I don't have that one. So when I got this, I'm going to turn around and show you what I got. When I got this box, I'm like, pulled them out and I asked her I'm like did I pick all those or did you add some she said you picked I'm like oh, I was spending your <laughs> I was spending your money I, I wasn't even thinking I was just like oh I don't have that one because if it's like something I collect and I see one I get all excited well when you see <laughs> what she sent me oh, that blasted phone well that's a good time for me to turn around and show you Okay, so I got a big stack here. I'm going to try to hold this up where you can see. I collect these Joanna Lund books. So this is a pot full of recipes. It's a little soft spiral bound. I collect Paula Dean. I did not have the Dean Brothers. Get fired up. So I got that. You know I collect anything Taste of Home. I mean anything. So this is a little soft bound or like less soft bound, I guess you'd say. Um, paperback, fresh and easy. I collect Fix and Forget It. This is kids. No, I don't have kids, but I got grandkids. But still, it's a Fix and Forget It book, and I collect those, so I got that. Here's another Taste of Home. Contest winning recipes, 2016. Another Taste of Home, Everyday Slow Cooker. And One Dish Recipes. I don't know if those are dated or not. And then here is the 2015 annual recipes that I didn't have. So I was excited to find that. The, the higher years are very hard to find. Taste of Home Most Requested Recipes 2015. And then this big old thing. Fix and Forget It Big Cookbook. Look at the size. If I can get it. Hold on. Look at the size of this book. <laughs> so that is... Let's see. Let's get up here and see this big stack. That is my big stack of books from my dear friend Joan. 
So I just wanted to share that with you. Now back to the food. Now I've been over here organizing my peanuts. I thought it was a half an ounce, but I looked up some calories this morning on Calorie King. And you can get three quarters of an ounce of nuts. And they fit in the um, calorie range of a power fuel. But here's the thing. I was munching on these while I was fixing them. I probably easily ate two ounces. I I, I, that's what I'm going to count. That's what I'm going to track. I didn't wear a measure them. I would just like eat some while I'm putting them in there and weighing them. You know you know how it goes. So the rest of these are <laughs> they're going up. But I, I, I don't think I'll get into them. It was just it was a temptation while I was doing this. So I thought I would tell you. For my Nutrisystem snack, I fit like some chocolate covered pretzels and I show them every time because in case there's somebody new, I want you to see how these things look. Now there's not many in the pack, but look how thick they're coated with that chocolate. They are absolutely delicious. I've said it before, if I had a big bag of these, I would just sit down and probably eat till they're gone. They are that good. So anyway, that that's my little Nutrisystem snack. Well, I decided to have some old school cheese and crackers. That's fat free cheese inside. That's a power fuel. And to get enough crackers, I had to take a smart carb, an extra, and then what's left over is a freebie. So, <laughs> and I had it for the day. I have not eaten everything I'm supposed to eat today. So I've, I've got room for this um, plate of crackers. And that's my fifth water. So here is my supper. I didn't think I had any left, but it's the cranberry and brie stuffed turkey. This is my greens and turnips. I cooked the turnips in with it. I always cook my greens in the instant pot. It's much easier than watching them on the stove. So I cut my turnips up a bit in there, and look, they got real good and tender. I just put it on 15 minutes. And that's just a pack of frozen collard greens. And then... Now this salad, I bought that Bolt House Cucumber Ranch, and so I should have tasted it before I loaded my salad down with it. I put two extras worth because I wanted plenty of dressing. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know how to put it nicely other than I'm not a fan. So I didn't even measure my Catalina, my fat-free Catalina. You know I mix that with my ranch anyway. I just drizzle some on top. I got I got extras left from the rest of the week. I am not even worried about it. I, I can't figure out how, in the scheme of a week, if you eat an extra one on one day and none on the other day, how that makes a difference. So, I, I use my extras kind of like Weight Watchers uses their weeklies. So I, I hope that Catalina fixes it because I'm not throwing it out. I've got too much good chicken up under there. Oh, look, by the way. There's three ounces of that Trader Joe's grilled chicken. That is a power fuel. So I am adding an extra protein to our meal. That's what I said I was going to try to do. And this is like my sixth water and I'm working on a coffee too. So that will do it for me tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you on my next one.